Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you and keep you safe. Today I want to share a message that I received on October 24th, 2024. This message is for Joel Austin. I'm going to share the message at this channel because I know that he has a lot of followers. For those people that don't know who is Joel Austin, he is a pastor at Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas. This church is a mega church. I pray that this message gets to Joel Austin ears and hit the warnings. I also pray for all the people that follows him. I pray that their eyes will be open to see the truth and that the ears will be open to hear the truth. In the dream, I remember I was at my house. My aunt and her family came to visit us. I noticed my aunt was drinking like a fruity drink. And I asked her, what are you drinking? And she said, it's a drink with alcohol. She offered it to me and I grabbed the glass. I smelled the drink and as I was smelling the drink, it was like the Holy Spirit told me, don't drink. You must keep yourself clean. And I gave the cup back to my aunt. And I told her, thank you, but I don't drink. I noticed it was getting dark outside. As we were talking, I heard someone coming in through the outside gate. I didn't see who it was, but I knew he was a priest. He came to the house to do a mass. He walked all the way to the back jar and as he was walking, he said something like, I have to come in. Nobody will open the gate for me. I didn't like his presence, but I didn't say anything. Then I heard someone came through the back door of my house. I turned around to see who it was, and by my surprise, it was Joel Austin. I looked at him, and I was surprised to see him. I was happy to see him. I looked at him and I told him, I'm so happy to see you. And he had a smile on his face. I told him, I've been wanting to meet you. And I looked at his face and I told him, but I'm not giving you any praises for all the praises or for the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pointed up with my index finger, like saying there's only one that I praise. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. I noticed his facial appearance change. He looked mean. It seems like his face kept shifting from evil to normal, but I was not afraid. And I told him, I have something to tell you. He tried to stop me, and he kept interrupting me. I could see his face shifting from evil to normal. I told him, this message is for you. If you don't change your ways, you will end up in hell, where you will burn with fire. He looked at me with this evil look, but didn't say anything. And that was the end of the dream. We are to praise only the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only one worthy to be praised, no one else. Only the Lord Jesus Christ. Joel Austin, this message is from the Lord. Change your bad ways before it's too late. Just to remind you, there is a place called hell, and those that mislead the sheep will end up in that place. If you truly know the word of God, teach the truth, not what people want to hear, but the truth. For many don't like to hear the truth because it's heavy, but the truth will set them free. Don't sugarcoat the word of God, for God knows everything. He knows everything we say and the things that we do. Nothing is hidden from Him, for He is all-knowing. At the end of this life, we have to give account of the things that we did and desert, either good or bad. And at the end, there's only two places where we're going to spend eternity. And that's either heaven or hell. We decide today. For tomorrow is not promise. It's not what we think that is right, but what the Lord knows that is right. 
That's why it's very important that we read and understand the Word of God. Nothing is impossible to the Lord if we ask Him. He will give us understanding. Religions divide people. Religions is just a name. Religion is not going to save you. The Lord Jesus Christ didn't come here 2,000 years ago to give us religions, but to show us the way to the Father. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one goes to the Father except through the Lord Jesus Christ. We are the temple of the Lord. When we are born again spiritually, the Holy Spirit comes and lives in us. He is the one who guides us, teaches us, and corrects us. I'm sorry, I have to say, but most of the pastors that are supposed to bring the message of the Lord, nowadays they are not. Many are misleading the people, and the Lord is not happy about those so-called pastors, for they are not doing their job. The Word of God is heavy, and many cannot take it, but more heavier will be hell. And people will end up in that place unless they repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Abortion is evil. Homosexuality is evil. And many people think that that's good. Those are two things that God detests. Remember, at the end of the day, we will have to give account of all the decisions that we have done. This life is just a paper compared to eternity. And we decide today where we will spend eternity. May the Lord Jesus Christ open your eyes so that you can see the truth, ears so that you can hear the truth. And I pray that your heart will be softened so that you can come to repentance before it's too late.